Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, a place where purpose are discovered and values are given. Do you know you can make nothing less than 500 to 700,000 Naira monthly in shoe business? How can you achieve this? If you have been learning how to make shoe or probably you know how to make shoe or you have been dreaming how to start selling shoe in any part of the country in Nigeria or in Africa, I think this is high time to make this dream a reality. All you need is just to keep watching. Alright guys, welcome back. Shoe business has been in Nigeria since the inception of buying and selling and it will never end or stop because shoe itself has been one of the necessity that we cannot do without. Just like the way we cover our nakedness with clothing, the same thing applies to the way we cover and protect our toes with shoes. And based on my research, I personally discovered that for you to start up this business, you need a capital not less than 150,000 up to 500,000 Naira to start up. All we need is just to get some basic tools like protective gem mats, utility knife, old punch, cutting mats, glue brush, and sandpaper. And if you want to expand the business, you have the money. The resources required you can proceed getting machines like filing machine shoeless stamp machine and industrial sewing machine if you need places to get this very cheap you can comment below this video all right in this video i'm going to show us 10 ways to start up a successful shoe business in nigeria or anywhere in africa step one choose a name for your footwear business it is very important to choose a name that is suitable for our shoe business which stands as an identity to our business or our product. You can use your personal name or your nickname, but don't forget to do what they call name availability, that is to check if that name is still available. And if you need my personal assistance on how to brainstorm a unique name that is suitable for your business, you can comment below this video. I'm going to direct you on how to get that achievable. What is mostly important is Choose a name that is suitable for your shoe business. Step 2. Carry out a market research. It is important we do some market research for us to identify our potential customers or target market. You should also know that these findings will help us to determine whether we want to focus our shoe business on men, women or both or probably want to include children as well as other types of shoe so it is very important to write out some business plan to help us know the type of shoes or handbags we want to sell and how we are going to sell it to achieve our goals so our brand must definitely stand out for something that will project our vision our objectives as well as identifying our potential buyers or customers Step 3. Find a shoe design. If you can't make shoe, you don't need to buttress yourself at all. All you need is just to get yourself connected with someone who can make different designs of shoe, work with him or her in the factory. And you must also bear it in mind that the product you decide to make or you shun out must have common features like easily fit, trending and high fashion look among others. These characteristics must be your standard of operation so that your brand can be easily recognizable by buyers locally and abroad. Step 4. Create a logo. A logo identifies your shoes, your bags, your belt, your customer. You can easily create a logo using Canva, Corridor, any graphic design application that you know how to use. And if you don't know how to get this achievable, you can comment below this video. I'm going to direct you on how to do this yourself. Make sure you are not copying a logo online. Create a different logo for your shoe business. Step 5. Manufacture your footwear. You can manufacture your shoes, your bag in small quantities and sell them and repeat the cycle again and again. But make sure you are the manufacturer of your shoes and bag. Step 6. Choose your price wisely. You see, your price must resonate with your brand. The question we need to ask ourselves is, do you want to sell your shoes and bag friendly or you want to sell an expensive shoes? Before you answer that question, you must consider the cost of production and advertising and market price before you put out your price to your potential customer. Step 7. 
create a social media account for your business. Many entrepreneurs who are into this business don't even have a separate account for their private business. I imagine how they market their products to their customers. Some even use the physical method whereby you walk into their shop and get their product. And this is the old styles of marketing. The best way is just create a social media source like a Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, or WhatsApp. It is not necessarily you use all social media. You can just pick at least two where you can post pictures and videos to market your products. Step 8. Advertise on social media. Social media has made everything easier for us once you have your laptop or your phone. That is why it's not always good when you have a social media account leaving it dormant. You need to keep updating your customers about your new designs of shoes, bags by posting pictures, writing good content there. You can also run a paid ad such like a Facebook ad, Instagram ad or use some traffic site like Gigi, Jumia or Konga. Likewise, if you don't have a YouTube channel, create one where you can educate your customers about your product so they can see good reason why they need to patronize you. If you don't know how to get all of this achievable, comment below this video or probably you just get in touch with me. I will direct you on how to get all of this achievable in time. Make sure you promote your business on social media. Very, very important. Step 9. Use influencer. You can decide to work with fashion bloggers, influencer, or even celebrity of your choice to promote your business. This is what all these big brands like Nike, Adidas does. They use footballers because they deal, some of them deals with sports shoes. So they use footballers to promote their business. So you also can use that method. And if you don't have any celebrity with you, probably you don't know any of them, you can get someone who have a very good site website that is running you can create a space there whereby you can advertise yourself and likewise you can use anybody's youtube account or any social media account that is effective to promote your business it's always good to use influencer to advertise yourself step 10 i don't know where you are watching me from this is one of the best method i would like you to apply which is post your customer pictures on your social media account you see this method, it will drive your sales. In fact, it will increase your sales because people generally believe in authenticity of your product or brands. So you can do a short video whereby they talk about your business so as to influence others to patronize you. Try this method and you see the outcome. Alright guys, if you need more business advice, consultancy or mentorship on how to increase your sales up to 500,000 naira monthly. You see this? It is very achievable. All you need is kindly subscribe to our YouTube channels. You can comment below. Put your notification button on. See you later. Thanks.